So this is Irvin Bell, y'all remember now, Martel Hotel's been ordered not to say anything to Melody or come around Melody. So let's just see what uh, he's up to. Now he's been ordered to pay $7,000. Okay, on the side, this trending says that love and marriage on the star Kiki Jabbar reportedly passed away. So... Let's get to Martell. An Alabama court feels Martell hopes blatantly disregard court orders on counseling and punishment. Love and Marriage Huntsville star Martell hosts and Melody were in court this week for a hearing in their ongoing custody debate. He started it, y'all, and she says she gonna finish it. The hearing pertained to Melody and her attorney who filed an emergency motion. The emergency motion is to enforce orders that Martell undergo psych evaluation and counseling with their minor son. As previously recorded by Urban Bell, Melody originally filed a grievance against Martell last July, accusing Martell of using uh, corporal punishment against their children. This include allegations of punching and choking their son. These allegations left a sour feelings amongst many la love and marriage Huntsville fans. By the way, this is Amanda. This is written by Amanda Anderson Niles, you guys. Anyway, the judge over the case issue and order that seems to be a sketching rebuke of Martell's behavior. It appears Martell had an apparent blatant disregard for the court orders. He just like a little kid with a temper tantrum. The court documents for the order obtained exclusively by Urban Bell declared on March 9th. 2022 that Martell get involved with counseling with their minor son per the previous decree. An other order in September 22 forbids Martell from corporate punishment. Now, per the order, the court declared Martell failed to seek the psychological evaluation. Move on down. We already know about that. So Melody Rogers scores a win in her ongoing custody battle with Martell Hopes. As a result of the court's declaration, Martell is now at serious risk of losing his visitation rights to his children. He has been ordered to comply with the original order of weekly counseling immediately and participate in twice monthly family counseling with his children. Failure to comply with this order will result in losing his visitation right. So who is AJ now? So y'all also know he was ordered to pay $7,000. AJ now, Amanda, is a publisher and writer for Urban Bell Magazine. AJ has a passion for HBCUs, learning technology, and reality TV. Those fans are speaking out about Martell. Bernadette said, I agree with you. The thing he does is not right. He look like just yell. He don't care what one and face he get into. He just come out and yell. They talking about Martell, you guys. Yeah, this is about Martell, you guys. Absolutely agree. I agree. He is spoiled. Mama's boy with a inflated ego. Yes, he's handsome with a, a, a nice body. But 
the maturity is lacking. Looks will get you in the door, but it won't keep your seat at the table. Fans are talking about Martell Hoax. Not the bother of the year. Needing to be ordered by the court. Yet again, to prioritize his children's well-being. What are he, what are his pygmies going to praise him now? It's clear, y'all, it's clear that Martell needs help. I say handle him accordingly. Shame on the court, that man do not need to be near those kids. Martell is, is selfish behind what he did to his family that ended in destruction. He does not want to accept what he did. He's going through H-E-L-L because he can't get his family unit back. He just can't believe it. I hope that ghetto lady mm, was worth it. Alrighty, y'all. Honey say, this is why I don't watch LAMH anymore. These court documents are so disturbing. This man gets violent with his children and, and doesn't think he's wrong. Every season, these people waste our time with fake storylines. Instead of addressing their real life issues like arrest and lawsuit, Martel has been in a minute, has been a menace to his kids. But on the show, we only get scenes of him and his diabolical mother saying, he's a, you're a good man, you're a good father, son, and was a good husband to me. On and Carlos King are sick for backing abusers, for dwelling ratings. Yeah. And this is, and that lie they told Variety was shameful. They'll rather lie and pretend ratings are good than part ways with an abuser like Martell. I'm never watching on again. Yeah. Rosa said, I ain't looking at the court. Kind of sideways. Cause why are they still forcing these kids to be around? Love and Marriage Huntsville reality TV personality Kiki Jabbar has died at the age of 42. Her family announced on Tuesday. Jabbar died peacefully at home, surrounded in love. The family shared in a statement to YouTube vlogger Marcella, who was the first to report the news. It is with extreme sadness that we announced the passing of our beloved Kiki. The statement reads, she passed away peacefully at home, surrounded in love. She was a mom, a sister, a great friend full of life, love, and laughter, and she will be sorely missed. At this time, we are asking for respect and privacy to our moment of grief while we process this loss. Jabbar cousin and Huntsville castmate Letitia Moore took to social media to share her grief over the reality star's passing. At this time, we are asking for respect and privacy in our moment of grief, while we process this great loss. She wrote on Instagram, this is hard for the family. Jabra was previously accused of hard drug use and using someone else's urine to pass a drug test. According to Deadline, she denied the allegation while appearing on the Love and Marriage Huntsville reunion. Hmm. I've never taken any kind of hard drugs, Jabbar said, after being confronted by the show's producer, Carlos King, per deadline. I've never taken anything, heroin, cocaine, crack. I've never taken anything like that. 
Jabbar went on to say that she was sober throughout the filming of the show. The own reality show uh, star recently posted on social media about her son Amari graduation, congratulating him for his accomplishment, according to you, X Weekly. Jabbar leaves behind Amari, son Ace, daughter Aubrey, and husband Amman. Oh, Y'all notice all their names start with an A. Jabbar, per the publication. Love and Mary Huntsville follow three high-powered African-American couples who are longtime friends who come together to revitalize the thriving city of Huntsville through their joint real estate venture, the Comeback Group, Deadline Report. So Letitia Scott is finally speaking out on the passing of her cousin. She said, you know how you fight with your cousin? your family, and think one day we'll be cool again. That day is gone. It's not coming. Then she got all these purple hearts, you know, because purple was uh, her cousin's favorite color. So uh, anyhow, I got this from Empress Radio. And indeed, your cousin loved you so much, Letitia. Yes, she did. She said, I took the flight to Texas because I wanted to just go down there and just make up with my cousin. When I, I keep thinking about that, that have always stayed on my mind. When, when Kiki came through that door, she said aloha. She was just so happy because she was finally going to make up with her cousin, you guys. She was so happy and the whole house rejected her anyhow somehow i'm just gonna say this somehow i think that Letitia and kiki would have made up hadn't if my soul would have approved of it now my soul didn't want to approve of those two making up. So, you know, Letitia, she's going to just do whatever it is that her husband do. Anyhow, Letitia, my condolence to you. And to that blogger, um, uh, that blogger that, uh, Got that unauthorized speeches all on TMZ everywhere. Why didn't you honor uh, Miss Constant? Well, Miss Constant came forth and said that that speech was unauthorized. Why didn't you just take the video down? Why? Uh, uh, and, and, you know, I'm I'm with Miss Downnose on this. You guys need to go check out Miss Downnose video because Miss Downnose is keeping it real. She's keeping it real. Anyway, my control, my condolence to uh, Kiki's family and family. I'm talking about the children and her husband, grandpa, the grandparents. And the mom who elegantly came forth and said that, you know, that speech was unauthorized. You know, and that person, if that person meant her any good, she would have deleted that. Because now when you're going through the chain of command by the law, right, when somebody passed or, or you or you need to try to get, say, asset. First, it's going to be the wife or the husband, right? Then if there's no wife or husband, next is the children. Then if there's no children, next going to be mom or dad. That's that's the chain of command. And them cousins, aunt, aunties, and all that, and cousins, and all that down the line, that's where they'll be. In the back of the line. So even if she say that uh, this person gave her permission to speak, that person 
that person was out of order too. Anyway, you guys, this family's going through a crisis, y'all. Family going through a crisis. My condolence to the family, y'all. My condolence. Now these are the eight, these are the girls that is in Dale's house. I'm particularly interested in Billboard Baby. Billboard Baby gonna give Deb a run from her mo her money. But Deb had this intuition that she did not want her in her house, but she was such a great rapper till she decided to let her in the house in a way. But let me introduce you to the eight women in Deb's house. You know, if somebody got it going on or not. On my other side, I have Londell McMillan, Source Magazine. Together, we want to see who's ready to be trained to go to the top. Have you had problems? So, uh, Deb has these th Source Magazine. He, she has all these superstars, uh, superstar judges, you guys. Let's just see. I'm going to go straight to the girls. Here we go. Diamond. Coming down, I won't stop till I leave with the crowd. Who's this house? house? Ready, what born in New York City? Let the beast out the cage, hold crowd, stop it, not urban legends. So, by so many, I place. don't know, I could keep that. Let's just see. You ain't with that. Where y'all get my daddy? Said he'd be great me, so I'm pulling up and rocking. A hundred rounds directed that the hate up. I'm gonna see 15 women, but only eight of them are gonna make it in Deb's house. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So she's gonna um, have eight girls make it in the house. Let me speed it on up, you guys. Trying to get to the girls. Let's see who is this first girl. Now, Billboard, I'm gonna concentrate on her today. And I think the other girl named Chocolate or Rocky. Let's see. This is Diamond. This is Camilla. Big Day. Slim. Billboard, there she go. Billboard baby tapping in, Father God. So this Billboard baby, you guys. Now, Deb is gonna have a problem with Billboard baby because when Billboard baby get in that house, she is gonna create drama. Not just with one girl, but with everyone. And Deb tuition is gonna be right about her. But she's a great rapper, though, you guys. I, I just wanted her to stay. Thank you so much for this moment. Thank you so much. I wanted a woman to be my manager. I've been fiending to have a woman. Because I feel like it's a different conversation. Certain things I ain't got to say. So she's a very beautiful girl, as y'all can see. This is a billboard. Very beautiful girl with lots of problems. I don't really know why and what happened to this young lady. But she come into the room and she just want to create drama. She just want to fight for no reason when she gets in Deb's house. This your girl Rocky, a.k.a. Fake Bitch Payroll. Really okay, now this is Rocky. These are the two I'm going to concentrate on today, you guys. Now, Rocky, she has got a big mouth, but I think Deb got a lot of respect for her. Deb says she got respect for, for, for this young lady because this young lady stood up to her in a respectful way. So Rocky and Billboard is gonna clash because Rocky got this personality. Fight, 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 fight. Now, let's just hear from Rocky. Now Rocky gets mad at Dale because Dale revealed her criminal past. Bitch out of Philly, period. Shout out to my fucking city. All right, so that's Rocky. So let's just keep it going. <laughs> So let's concentrate on um, this young lady. I got a lot of supporters. All my life I've been fighting and writing, fighting and writing, no catch. This is hot chocolate, you guys. Hot chocolate since she's been fighting and writing all her life. That's hot chocolate. Let's see who else I can cipher out. Oh, the Nigerian girl. Even though I'm American, I'm African. So I'm really just bridging my African influences. Queen Easy, she's a Nigeria by way of New York. Now, Queen, Queen, now, uh, Izzy gonna get chose too, but I like the Queen Izzy because she seems like she's gonna be the peacemaker in the house. The 
where is it? A list of color. Queen Izzy wrote this bad, and you guys are not finna mess this up for me. I'm gonna do all I can to make Dale's house a peaceful house. That's Queen Izzy. Oh, righty. Let's see who else I got. Oh, this beautiful young man. I'm torn because I love you honestly. And that means that you already fought half my battle. If you can acknowledge what's going on. So, uh, I don't know what's her name, you guys. So, uh, let me let me just go on and get to the house now. Since, oh yeah, let me get right here. This is going to be one of the white girls she's going to choose now. <laughs> Against uh, the other judges' better judgment. The little white girl couldn't rap and they told her that. But they picked her anyway because she's on Instagram with all these followers. All right, back to Billboard. Hey, Mike. All right, I guess I got it. <laughs> So in the last video, you guys, I introduced you guys to all the girls in Dove's house. Now, Billboard and Rocky have been feeling right. Something that Ms. Yes, that is. That's what matters. It's all that matters. It's the one moment that matters. You want to sink or swim? But you played yourself. You played yourself. Like you played yourself. Like you played yourself. She still didn't move on me. Mm -hmm. She still held her head. And I already know she's not the only one that said it. Nothing. Nothing. It's Rocky. Hey, bro. It's Rocky. Don't watch it. She's a strong Then I'll tell you something for you, bro. I don't do this. I don't walk around like this, sit here and cry, but I'm acting hard as hell, and you slip your shit and tear. But hold this up like you got a dick. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Yeah. I'm not, they said, they're out, and there's nothing else to discuss. Okay. So in the end, Billboard had to leave the house. Billboard was not listening to anyone. Billboard kept drama going. And one thing they admired about Rocky, Rocky didn't even fight her. <laughs> Rocky loved to fight, but Rocky knew one thing, that they're not playing with those two. They had a rap battle, and uh, Rocky was eating her up. Rocky was eating her up in, in the rap battle, but what she did was because she could not out-rap Rocky, she put her hands over Rocky's mouth. And that was it for Dale. Uh, she outwrapped her. She held her container. She didn't fight her. But Dale told Billboard, you got to go. Now, that's, and that's the first lady that left Deb's house. Deb's not playing with these girls. I am not going to tolerate fighting and drama and cussing in my house. You girls will be ladies. Y'all do know that she put out uh, Mickey Minaj. Mickey Minaj has become a superstar. Yeah, Dale managed Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Minaj. 